back again, y'all. This is your boy, Jason Barber, an educator. I'm back with uh, part two. This is more like an updated version of a Dirty Barber's sanitation video. So if you've seen my first video, this is to replace the first one because I got updated information. I want to be accurate as possible for you guys to help you keep your shops and your tools clean and sanitary for your customers. So here we go. Bam, I'm going to show you again what I do at Show and Tell Custom Barbershop here in the Dallas area to clean tools. We got too many dirty barbers out here uh, using the same comb and brush on different customers. They go straight from one, it's cross contamination as you learn in school. You go straight from one customer with a comb and put it in the next customer head without even going past the sink, without even putting it in, in, um, in, in a barber size jar and you get the little clipper brush that you dust the clippers off with, and they also use that to dust the, uh, the fade. You got people's dandruff, skin, blood from people's busted bumps, and all that dirty hair, hair grease, and all that in those little brushes, and they go from one person's head to the next. We don't do that here at Show & Tell Cuts. I'm gonna show you how to be sanitary barber. Follow me, this is how we do the Show & Tell Cuts. So, this is my station. What I have here is, come on, I have, two, I have two containers. I got one where I put all my dirty combs and brushes, okay? I got all different types of combs and brushes depending on what I need to use, what tool I need to use to serve my client. I have that uncovered because I just throw them in there and they need to be clean. This has my, this is my cover container. It has my clean combs and brushes. As you can see, it got clean combs and brushes. All my barbers here show and tell use a similar system. So what I do, I get these combs and brushes. I come right over here to the sink. I put them in the sink. So I, the, what I'm doing now is we're going to follow the, uh, the TDL rule uh, code 83 for sanitation and uh, uh, of chlorine, uh, sodium hypochlorine bleach. Now I got the writing on here. Got low level disinfection. You, you add one third cup of, of bleach to one gallon of water and soak for 20 minutes. So if I come over here, the, the first step is to first clean and sanitize the tool to move out any, any type of debris, grease, and all stuff like that. So what I would do is I, in this bucket, I would do like, like you would normally wash dishes. You just put a little bit of dishwashing liquid you come in here, and the reason why I upgrade, update the system, because they recommend that you don't mix, mix detergent and bleach, is what I was doing at first. So, we got the soap and water, just like you would if you're washing dishes, okay? Now, what I normally do, I take two combs, I would take uh, two brushes. You got the soap, and you dislodge anything that's in those brushes, the water and the soap is helping you dislodge it, okay? And what you do, you do that until you get down to the last brush, okay? So when you get down to your last brush, you use it. So if you, if you just got through scrubbing your last two, you save one and you use it to clean each comb, okay? And you do that until you get done with all the combs. So what you want to do, when you get down to your last comb, as you can see here, I got the combs sitting over here. That you can you can throw them in a separate bucket, or I just throw them on the sink like that. So I pour it. I pour this out. People might say, man, you just pour the dirty water right on top of the clean comb. And I just, I'm just i rinsing them. I'm rinsing anything in the debris. I'm rinsing off right here. Now, if you, got, if you think that's an issue, then you just put yours in a separate container. It's this easy fix. So I'm rinsing all the soap and, and debris off. Then I come back 
then I can either take a pre-mixed solution and you, this solution should be mixed every day, fresh, 24 uh, hours, as long as you should have a bleach solution mixed. Now I can take the, the, the mix and I can, I can, uh, I can pull this in, pre-mix. You want to make sure you pour enough to cover where everything is submerged. Okay. So as you can see here, it'll be submerged and you let that sit for 10 minutes. Then after that sit for 10 minutes, you want to come back. Pour that out. You want to rinse all your stuff. Make sure you rinse them good. And you want to get all that bleach off of that. Okay. Another way you can do it if you don't if you don't have it pre-mixed already, you remember you you, you just hit a, a two teaspoons to a gallon for low grade, one third to a gallon for high grade, twenty minutes. So you can just pour water in there like that. You can take you a cap. It depends on how much water you got in there. Cap and a half bleach. And the, now the bleach is a sodium. Hypochlorite, that's a, that's a, a, a proof EPA disinfectant. Now, let that sit for 10 minutes, okay? Once that sits for 10 minutes, you come back, you drain it. Now that's the option, you can do it either way. And then you rinse them. I'm in here, I'm rinsing all that, all that off. Once you do that, get your towel, come over here, and you come over here and you want to dry your stuff and put it in a clean container. Just that simple. Now when you're doing these combs, you can dry them and if you look, there'll be some water stuck in between the teeth. The way you do that is you hit them like this and that gets the water off between the teeth. You take the clean comb. You put them in a, in, a, in a closed container, okay? Now you got your brush. What you want to do, you want to dry your brush by rubbing it against the towel. Sometimes it still got a little water, see that? So you got to rub it a little harder. Or in addition to that, you get your air compressor and you can blow water. See, the water comes out. See this on too much? But you blow it, you want the water to shoot into the towel. Then after that, you do like that. Boom. And you do that till you got all of them dry and put up. Then you put the empty container here for when you go to work. You want to start that, you, you want to start your day like that. That's how you want to start your day every day. I got like 15, 20 combs and brushes. I got all different types. Picks, flat, uh, flat top combs, clipper combs, uh, taper combs, all purpose combs. And you got the brushes, everything you need. So uh, going forward, you have no excuse to keep using the same comb and brush. And then you can have 15, 20, or if you only got three combs and brushes, the same system will work for you. Until next time, be a clean barber, like and share. Please subscribe as well.